This week on the obsession of Carter Andrews. You know, that was a pretty interesting drive up all the way from Florida. Hook him up. Tight first cast, baby. I mean, this is where the history of fishing comes from in the US. Got him, got him, baby. 10 different lures and I can't get a bite. Oh, oh got him, oh. Oh. I'm getting schooled by a mass hole. Are you kidding me? My life is consumed with fish. fishing in the ocean, fishing in the river, fishing in the lakes. I'm obsessed with fishing. Unbelievable. The farm ponds in Tennessee, the trout streams of the Rocky Mountains, Panama, the Bahamas, my backyard, multi species, multi tackle. Pursue my passion. My obsession. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm obsessed, obsessed with, with fishing. fishing. What a fish! What do you say, man? You say we rock and roll. Sorry we can't go bluefin fishing today. It's all right. This is going to be uh, gonna much be, better. Much better? Well, it's going to be just as much fun, let's put it that way. Yes. You know, that was a pretty interesting drive up all the way from Florida, trailing this 27-foot CV, George Washington Bridge, New Jersey Turnpike. Yep. But you know, the nice thing about it was I made that stop in North Carolina Got to fish for some giant drum. Sur sight casting on the surface. Yeah, that was un it was just incredible. I mean, we're, we're, we're ca sight casting to 30 to 50 pound drum. And you're the world records from there, I think, at like 92 pound. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. Some school teacher from Pennsylvania, I think, caught it. Surf fishing off the beach. Nice. Well, I want to do, I'm going to go back with you. I'm going to, I'm going to, yes, trip? I'm shotgun. I'm calling shotgun right now. <laughs> You know, we've been talking about this bluefin tuna fishing for a couple years, and I was really anxious to get up here, get onto this bite. Yeah. And last week, it was it was pretty good. Yeah, last week it was it, the the weather was perfect, was glassy, slick. but then. But a lot and a lot of a lot of tuna getting caught. A lot of tuna. People, People coming can. coming from all over. Casting lures. Right, and then the north winds moved in. We got first day of fall, basically. So we're gonna go do what? You do in the fall. Yeah, go fish for albacore. Fish for albacore when it's blowing too hard. Light tackle, shallow water, it'll be awesome. You know, the thing I've really learned to appreciate about New England and what's going on up here, I mean, this is where the history of fishing comes from in the US. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's 200 years, 250 years old. Right. And you've got all these famous banks out there I mean, you know, the other thing is, I think what makes it special is it's such a limited time period everyone has up here. So when you got to go, you go. But you know, what's interesting is all this bait, you would think you'd have like stripers, blues, you, you do get some bluefish, but um, it's really the false albacore that's just going to town. And that, what everyone's talking about is just the amount of peanut bunker. They had just have not seen peanut bunker down here like that in a while. Well, I mean, I, what do you think? I think this is good. We start by running up the coast looking at some of this. Yeah. Right? I love this new touch screen. Woo! I'm excited. Let's hope we find some fish. So we've come up through the salt pond right here, looking for the albacore. There's a lot of bait in these ponds right now, a lot in these salt ponds that are all dumping into the ocean. And the albacore, the false albacore have come up in here chasing the bait. We just saw a little spot of them. We'll see if we can get them coming up again. It's nice, you know, once you see them jumping up on the surface, then you've got a target to cast to. You know where they are. So we're actually, we're looking for birds and we're looking for breaking fish. It's gonna be fun. Really light tackle, 10 pound braid, 10 pound leaders. I'm just gonna be at the ready just in case. Just in case they show themselves. Well, it's kind of funny that I'm out fishing for bait. Bait. <laughs> you know, sport fishing for bait. Because, you know, we catch our fish very similar to this, the Bonita, that we're using for marlin. Right. 
big and we, tunas too. And right? big tuna, big tuna. And we use obviously heavier gear than this to get them in faster. And instead of playing them, our whole idea is to get them in, in, get them in the tuna tubes and move on to the next thing. Ooh, right here, right here, just came up. Oh, got him tight. You're on. Woo! Good job, ma'am. Come on, double up. Let's go, Carter. Swimming towards the boat. Popped up, and he followed that epoxy jig, the silver. Still going. The silver jig? Yeah. Oh, my God. Gone? Gone. Gone. What? There he is. Got him. At a boy. Got him. Oh, listen my to that. God. He's gone. I'm going to try and get us doubled up. Still going. Still going. Dude, he's gonna mess me up back here. He's gonna mess me up back here. Yep, and those rocks. That means get on the engine, let's turn the boat around. All right. Then where's he going? He's going back to the ocean. Going back home. Huh? Going back home, probably where we should have gone a long time ago. <laughs> All I had to do was put my raincoat on for the ride home. Oh, Carter, baby. Nice work. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, they are bleeders, aren't they? Yeah. Now the release, you basically just dump them in the, drop them fast. Yeah, fast huh? in the water. Well, that's what we needed. Definitely. The obsession of Carter Andrews is powered by Yozuri, engineered to catch. CV Boats, lead the way. Ray Marine, don't just go fishing, go hunting. Underwater with Ray Marine. And by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. You know, we've got these birds working. It's a pretty big spot of bait right here. So maybe I'll just drip down. Oh, yeah, they are breaking to his right, right off his boat. It's amazing how we can look down with this green water and white bottom. You could see, see that it. black spot of bait, that big brown spot. Yep. I say we, the birds are working it pretty good. Let's drift down on that first. Sounds good to me. Get me up there. Let's get them Albies. Six feet of water. Wind's kind of blowing again today. Look, Carter, look up towards the beach. See him like right up on the beach there wow, too. Wow, I love that. No wonder all those beach shore fishermen up there. Right here, right here. Hook him up. Got him. Tight first cast, baby. I don't know if I like that or not. First cast, woo. Good job. First cast. Good job. Way That's a way to start the morning. <laughs> way to put us on the fish. That, that, that was about 10 feet from the boat. Yep. And we're only in about five feet of water. He's got nowhere to go. First cast of the morning. I hadn't even picked up my rod yet. He said be aggressive today. Be aggressive. Good thing the wind stopped blowing. No kidding. <laughs> You ask and you shall receive. Hold on, oh, here you nice come. one too. Look at this whole chunk. Oh. Nice work, Carter. That's a beautiful fish. They really are. I, I see why y'all are into this. Yes. All right. Good release. Good way to start. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Good call up here. I know. Monomoy. 
Let's make some more magic. I like up there. Yeah. You see that? Oh, there's a boat on it already now. Yeah, we should go up there. There's definitely some more birds and they're working. Let's go. Five feet of water. I can't believe you catch an albacore, false albacore in five feet of water. Sight, it's like sight fishing. It's at its best. And you know, taking line. Oh, right here. Oh, he's on it. Got him, got him, baby. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on, Carter. Nice job, Richard. He was literally. Right, <laughs> I mean, five feet from the boat. Right. Look at them, all busting down here in front of us, out of my range. Man, there is just nothing better on the slight tackle like this. I really, really enjoy it. I kind of like the scenery here, too. Yeah. Oh, right there again. Right behind mine. It's like shooting free throws. You tell me when you're ready, I'll get him. I'm ready. Here, Come around this swing way. around. If you can. Hold on, he's coming around again. I couldn't, who was telling me? Somebody was telling me a 19 pounder's the world record? Yeah. But you know the Martha's Vineyard Derby's going on right now. Yeah? For these? Yeah. Well, they have different categories, stripers, albacore. Oh, somebody took a swing at him. Yeah. Bluefish or something. A bluefish, you think? Yeah. Look at the markings on these fish. That's just incredibly beautiful. How green the head is and everything. I love that. A bluefish took a swing at him. There you go, buddy. Nice. All right, let's go set that drift up again. Oh. Oh. When the obsession at Carter Andrews continues. Are you kidding me? Look at the one behind him. Well, I've thrown 10 different lures and I can't get a bite. These are delicious, by the way. Is it really? Yeah, we should. <laughs> After the break. I'm getting schooled by a mass hole. The following is brought to you by Yo Zuri. Fish the best. The 3DB Pencil. That's been a really good topwater bait for these fish. It's the right size. It still casts good in this wind. Taking one of the hooks off just to make it easier on us. Earlier in the week when I first got here, we were fishing schools of false albacore that were on peanut bunker. And this Yozuri 3DB Pencil was a perfect topwater bait for him. To the left. To the left, to the left. Oh, he, oh, got him Dude, on the Are you kidding me? Look at the one behind him. I love it when this happens. When my guest is out fishing me. That's, it's always fun. Well, I would never do that on purpose. You know that, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that guy. I'm getting schooled by a mass hole. I mean, a... Uh... Hey, I'm originally from Georgia. I'm just a transplant. Look, they're cast, cast again, cast. Oh! Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, took the whole lure. This is unbelievable. I've thrown 10 different lures and I can't get a bite. Size, color, I can't get bit. Carter. There he is. On, on my, <laughs> on that rig. 
I think that's the first. I'm, that's a, wait, that's... wait till I show you the rig that I built. Did you see it? Yes. Which one do you think he's on? I don't know, uh, but that's a new Carter Andrews what, special. What, what, which one do you think he's on? <laughs> Northeast special. I just, you know, the way these things pull on this light tackle is unbelievable. Let me know when he's close. You know, to come out here, this kind of scenery, it's absolutely beautiful, fishing in the midst of all these other boats and catching the fish. I mean, you know, we've had yeah, Carter. a dozen plus bites today and, you know, we're landing four or five. It's been tough. They've gone to this tiny, tiny bait and trying to get them to eat the right thing has been hard. And we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do this. Yes, he is definitely wrapped in the tail. Yeah, they get tail wrapped. I mean. Careful, there are a lot of hooks in there. Look at that. Finally. You, 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 you see that little pin's minnow? Yeah. That's not that's that's bigger than the bait that they're eating. I know. That's you know? Great. Look at that. Let me get that out. There you go. Hooks out. Ready? Thanks, man. Good release. Look at our bait. This is, and this, you call this a sand eel? Yeah, those are Is it truly sand. an eel or is it a minnow? Well, and that's finally what I got that fish to eat on. These are delicious, by the way. Is it really? Yeah, we should. <laughs> they are good. <laughs> All right, right here in front of us. When the obsession right. of Carter Andrews continues. There he is. Got him. And there you go. Woo! There you go. That sounds like a big boy, kind of. After the break. The obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Built for the wild. Shimano. And by Kuda Fishing Tools. Fierce. Tough. Proven. Let's get back up there. You want to get one on the fly now? Yep. Is that a sand eel fly? Don't even worry about that fly. That fly, they'll eat. All right, right here in front of us. All right, get them. Get hooked up, get tight. Oh, you're in them, you're in them. There he is. Got him. That's it. That was great. Got in that little boil of them. Just had to get the fly in. Wait, you see the fly? It looks just like that sandy LA. Perfect. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, baby. Putting me on them again. Yeah. I mean, I've only been doing this about 10 minutes. That's our second drift, and I got bit right away. It's all about matching got that em. hatch. These guys are so keyed in on the bait. Can't get them on something different. Take your time. There you go. Oh, uh -huh, baby. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, what a great fish, man. I love that. Look how beautiful they are. Huh? Woo! There you go. That sounds like a big boy, kind of. Woo! I, I can't do you that. Don't have that one I don't have that. You know, when we talk about what we're fishing, you saw the eels last time. That sand eel? This is like the perfect imitation for it. It's got a little green on the back yep. and a little bit of that crystal flash and just, you know, up towards the head. It right. just had a little bit more body to it. And then it goes back to that tiny profile. That's it right there. It's perfect. Right in there and they swallowed it. I don't know, let's, I don't know if we can leave that. 
Let's go catch a couple more. You want to get one on fly now? It's your turn. Sure, I'll do it. I'll put you in there. All right, let's do it. I'll back you up with the, with something. Cutter, you made that look too easy. The wind stopped blowing when I was casting. Those things are like leaping out of the water. Oh, he swiped at it. Got it. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me go over you. Let me go over you. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. Came up and swiped at that twice. They like that fly. They like that fly. That fly is like that pasta we ate last night. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> look how beautiful it is in the water there. I still can't get over how nice their backs look. You know? Yeah. All that modeling, those worm marks on them. Oh, nice work. I mean, look at Captain. that. You gotta admit, that is just absolutely a beautiful fish. Greenies. Greenies. Wow. Go for a little release? You mind if I release your fish? Absolutely. Oh. Go ahead. See you, buddy. There he goes. Look at that. He's tuckered out. He's plum tuckered out. <laughs> that was beautiful. Got a couple on fly, got a bunch on lures. Wrap it up. We are in Boston Harbor for striped bass and bluefish. I'm really excited. We're gonna be right under the skyline of Boston. Logan Airport, jets flying in. It's gonna be total mayhem out there. The bite's been on. A lot of boats, a lot of fun. I've never really fished the inner city and I'm looking forward to it. Got a little bass. I can't even believe how much fun that was today.